Hi everyone, this is Ajil Soni. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can apply a filter to only a specific value of a dimension. Let's understand this with the help of an example. In this visualization, I have category and subcategory color coded by segment and there's a filter on segment. So when I interact with this filter, only furniture category should reflect the changes. So when I deselect consumer, you can see consumer values no longer show up for furniture, but they still do for office supplies and technology. Um, let's deselect corporate. So similar case. Now I'll apply all. So we'll see how to create a calculated field for this um, and um, the credit for this solution goes to Ken Flaritch. I came across uh, this solution on Tableau community and I'm sharing this with you all. So let's create a new sheet and uh, build the visualization using category, subcategory and sales. Right, we'll create a bar chart and let's code this with segment. Right, okay. Now there are two things. Uh, first, we need to apply a filter on segment. Second, that filter should be applicable only on furniture. So let's do the first part. Uh, let's create a um, filter for segment. Uh, and for that, we'll use a set control. So go to segment, create a set. Uh, now there can be two scenarios. One is whether you want to give the liberty to the users uh, so that they can make the changes in the filter, like in this set, or you um, have to hard code the values pre-hand and uh, don't want to give the liberty to the user. So since we saw, um, that we had shown that filter so we'll use the all we'll use all the values over here and click ok now our filter is ready uh, we'll use this in our calculated field so that this gets applied to only the uh, second part that we wanted to discuss only to this furniture value so we'll use if else conditions so if category is equal to furniture then we'll use nested if over here so again an if condition if segment set then true else false now let's understand this part of the um, if else first. If segment set 2. So this means whatever values are there in the segment set, then show those values. True means show those values. Otherwise, the values which are not there in this set, don't show them. So we are using false statement for that. And this is happening only for the furniture category. Now we need to give a condition for office supplies and technology. So we'll use the else part. Else. True. And now uh, this if else works for furniture part. So we are showing or um, hiding the values for furniture. Not hiding, but basically removing it from the visualization. Now else part uh, shows true, which means show all the values for office supplies and technology. Don't apply these conditions or this filter on office supplies or technology. So let's name our calculation calc um, show remove. Now what we'll do is, we'll bring in show remove to filter shelf, select true, okay. Now, since we want to give the liberty to the users to select 
um, the values from this set, we'll right click on this and select show set. So let's check whether this is working. Let's remove consumer. See. Let's remove home office. Yes, it works. So um, that's how you can create a calculation for this one. The prerequisite for this solution is that you should have uh, set controls in your Tableau instance. So uh, maybe around uh, after Tableau 2020 version, um, they, uh, Im they introduced this set controls. So just go and check out the version. And if you have that um, set controls available in your Tableau version, you can implement this functionality. Um, I will also uh, tell you how you can um, still uh, show or remove the values for furniture segment without giving the liberty to the users. So you don't need to show this set to the users. We'll hide this card and um, in the segment set freehand, you can select the values whichever you want to uh, display or not. So if I select consumer only, it will show me only for consumer. That's all for this video. Thank you.